So in one of my videos, a p I was pruning my tomatoes and a few people had um, a lot of comments that I was pruning my tomatoes too heavily and um, someone even commented and said that my tomatoes would get sunburned, um, which obviously if tomatoes or any kind of fruit is in direct sunlight for a long time, they can get sun scolded. Um, and I was not, in that video, I was not telling anybody that they should prune their tomatoes that way or anything. I was just showing you guys what I was doing. Of course, in your garden, you should take cautions, caution and do your own research on how you want to pr prune your tomatoes. The reason why I was pruning my tomatoes like that is because, one, I'm in coastal South Carolina, zone 8B. It's very, very humid here. All, all of those branches that I was pruning were suckers, and they all had, and even the bottom leaves that weren't suckers, they all had disease. I was prune, heavily pruning to prevent this disease from spreading. I did plant a lot of varieties this year that were considered um, uh, disease resistant, so a lot of them are hybrids, but some of the heirlooms that I still planted uh, do struggle with disease, and so I was pruning them to pre prevent the, um, the disease from spreading. Also, I've watched some other farmers and stuff that like organic farmers in other countries that were growing tomatoes inside hoop houses and stuff. And what they said was that they pruned their tomatoes not only to a one stem, um, which is what I'm trying to do this year, but that also they prune all the way up the stem up until the first set of fruit. And so that was basically what I was doing in that video. I was pruning, I didn't explain because that's not what the video was about, but I was pruning all the way up until the first um, set of fruit. And then even higher in some cases if it had disease. That video that I shot that made pruning tomatoes was about probably now a month ago. So my tomatoes have grown so much um, since then. And I want to go over there and show you guys what my tomatoes are looking like and why I think that they're not getting sun scolded even though right now it is probably it's 11 it's 11 12 so it's super hot outside the sun is directly above my garden my garden is in complete full sun probably more than full sun uh, because um, there is no shade I'm sitting underneath this umbrella but I wanted to shoot this video right now while the Sun is directly above my garden so I could show you guys why um, I think my tomatoes are not getting sun scolded and it was actually not anything I planned on my part it was actually a happy accident when I planted my tomatoes how I planted them and I think it's always better to show you guys than to just try to explain because uh, through words it might not even come across correctly so like I said, it is my sun, I mean the sun is directly above my garden right now and I don't know if you could tell but you can kind of see that there's shade on the front parts of these tomatoes and this is my first bed of tomatoes. It does have 30 tomatoes, 15 on each side, they're cherry tomatoes and this one is completely shaded and basically all of these leaves are completely shaded even though the sun is directly above my garden. When I planted these uh, beds or decided that I wanted tomatoes over here, I decided I was gonna do 15 on each side. So there's 15 on this side, 15 on this side, and then you could even see the next bed, they're shaded as well. And I'm gonna tell you why I believe that they're shaded like this. And you can see that this is all of the new growth. I stopped pruning into a single, single liter once it got to the top of the trellis and I want to show you going all the way down on a few plants how let me see if I can find a good example so right here there's no leaves I left this fruit here and then pruned all the way down same thing right there where there's a sucker coming but I pruned all the way up the stem for mostly all of my tomatoes Again, perfect example, next bed pruned all the way down my stems. But even on the back side of this bed, even though it's more in full sun, some of the leaves definitely still have some shade on them. I did just add the shade cloth um, to my peppers yesterday, and it was just because I was experimenting. I had the shade cloth to see if there was a way that I could shade my garden um, with shade cloth, even though I have such a big space. So some of the extreme uh, tomatoes that I prune really, really heavily are my uh, beefsteak. This is my beefsteak bed and some of these leaves were the most diseased and so I pruned really, really, really high. But even on this, you can see how many fruit going down that way have started to turn. But again, 
the leaves are pretty much shaded. So I think that the direction of the sun and the way I planted my beds with double side of tomatoes is helping prevent the, um, my tomatoes from getting sun scolded. After I set up my beds like this and planted them, I thought about it. I didn't think about the direction of the sun um, to begin with, but then after I set everything up and decided that I wanted to plant my tomatoes like this, I said to my friend, I was like, I wonder if um, it's gonna be an experiment, a s experiment year because I wonder if my tomatoes would be too shaded and they would grow leggy. Actually, the opposite happened with my garden being in full sun. Something that I've struggled with is my garden getting really, really crispy and my plants getting really crispy in like direct because it is in like 12 hours of sunlight during like the peak, um, the peak time of the sun. So like in the month of June and July when the sun is out forever, my garden is getting the mostest amount of sun. But with planting my tomatoes back to back like I've done, what I've done is created shade actually for my tomatoes. And so it was a happy accident. Once my tomatoes started growing um, and I've already solidified this is where I wanted to plant them, I realized that since the sun comes up from the back of my garden and there's trees back there, the back half of my garden is shaded for a lot of the day. Then once it finally comes over, it's hitting coming this way so it's hitting the front of the tomato bed which is uh the determinate tomato tomatoes which i did not prune so all of those are casting a shade on the next bed and then it's like going forward 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 and casting a shade when it reaches the top it's the sun is shining down and so the leaves that are at the top are kind of shading the fruit that's just my opinion because that's what it looks like where the sun is directly above my head right now and then it starts going that way and setting and as it's going that way it, if it casts a shadow the shadow is going to be cast on to the other side of the tomatoes that were in full sun earlier in the day if that makes sense i hope that makes sense and so i think the reason why my tomatoes aren't getting sun scolded is because they're not getting the most amount of sun that you probably think they are when you just see a video and you just see me pruning the, the mosties and you think that I've, pr I've pruned too much um i can show you these tomatoes so perfect example these tomatoes that look very very bare um and i've already obviously harvested lots of those tomatoes but when you get to the top all of that is new growth and it's actually going way above my trellis so i didn't kill my tomato plants i didn't sun sculpt them all of the tomatoes on here are still doing very well and you can see that this one even still has shadows on it uh, even though the sun is directly above us as well as all of those tomatoes and you can see they've grown really really healthy oh my goodness I just found my first tomato hornworm in this garden so I need to kill them so I know people, some people are gonna say I don't have to explain myself, but I think it's really good to know when you're watching a video um, why I'm doing something. I wasn't telling anybody else that they should prune their tomatoes like that and I didn't actually even mention me pruning my tomatoes. I was just doing it. But I think it is good to know when you see someone else gardening um, in a way that maybe you wouldn't do or you know, maybe you think they're giving out wrong information to actually to say something and so I just wanted to be able to explain and tell you why I was pruning the way I was and to actually show you that it has not hurt my tomatoes. When I was pruning like that, I've never pruned that heavy before, but when I was pruning like that, a part of me was saying, okay, if I kill my tomatoes, then I was willing, I was willing to live with if I killed my tomatoes by pruning too heavily but I was fairly confident I was like probably like 80 20 percent sure that I was not killing my tomatoes and then on the other hand I felt if I left all of the diseases that would be killing my tomatoes definitely but if I tried to prevent it that maybe it had a better hope and I'm happy with how um, the new growth of my tomatoes which is what I showed you guys they're like of more than a foot some of them are more than a foot above the trellis granted the trellis is probably only um, a little bit above five feet but these are the biggest tomatoes that i've grown the most amount of tomatoes i've been getting from my garden in the past uh, three seasons that i've been here and i'm really really happy with um 
what's going on in my garden so far so i just wanted to explain that yes if you do leave your um your plants in direct sunlight for a long time they will get sun and all of that type of stuff but it's just not happening to me and it's just a happy accident with the way i planted to my, my, my tomatoes this year and the shade that it's casting and the direction of my sun and all of that stuff if my tomatoes were going maybe in a different direction um it could be different but it just didn't work out like that and so i would actually continue planting my tomatoes um in the block format that i've planted them this in this year and i think it's working out really really well for me that's a lot of tomatoes so nail just picked all of these cherry tomatoes from the in-ground bed off of just probably three or four cherry tomato plants. So because I've struggled previous years with my garden getting sun scolded, that is why I've been experimenting with that shade cloth. I actually had bought a big uh, roll of shade cloth and I don't know what happened to it. That's just the only piece that I had left that was usually over my... Um, hoop house but right now that tree has been sh shading my hoop house and so it hasn't really been getting as hot in there as previous years before that tree when that tree was much smaller so i'm thinking about ordering i've been looking into ordering a bigger shade cloth to shade um at least this part of my garden over my tomatoes maybe like putting some kind of stakes or something like that in the ground and seeing if i can cover that side of my garden this side has the trellises the hoop trellises on mostly like every other bed and so i'm not really worried about this side of my garden uh, there are a couple beds that are flat but like i said those are beds are like my perennial herb beds and stuff that have always done fine in full sun without being shaded in previous years but i do want to keep my tomatoes and my peppers growing all season into the frost if I can keep them disease free um, and so I have been looking into just getting shade cloth um, so if you guys have any interesting ways on how to shade such a big garden definitely let me know I hope this video was informative for you um, and maybe answered um, specifically any questions that uh, maybe you guys might have had when I was pruning my tomatoes or um, maybe was thinking the same thing that I was pruning too heavily and then hopefully seeing um, how much growth new growth my tomatoes have and how much they're producing I've already gotten on that one I think my last video I got over 20 pounds of tomatoes so definitely more than I've gotten in previous years and so I'm having a really great tomato year um, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.